Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Runj and today you join me in the S3. We're going to go on a little journey together. We're going to go pick up some mods from Haz Motorsport in Dewsbury. So it's not a long drive, but I thought to myself, you know what? I'll go collect the mods with you guys and also chat to you about what's going, been going on with my S3. So to give you a bit of an update because there's been a few bumps uh, that I have um, managed to kind of jump over but did face obviously in the past couple of weeks it was a bit of a struggle with my S3 but obviously I'll, uh, I'll go through that in a second I'm just waiting for my brother to uh, move his car so I can get out um, all I need to do is basically get cash out and then basically go pick up the mods so I finally got a haircut trimmed looking fresh um, thanks to Urban Esquire and Brighouse Connor did a top job so if you're from Brighouse Yorkshire and you need a new barber reach out to Connor because I'm not gonna lie like, as you can see top top job uh, decent price customer service bang on and it's definitely probably the best design barbershop I've ever been to in my life uh, it's super super nice but yeah let's get on this journey uh, to Haz Motorsport uh, hopefully you guys can see me and hear me clearly but yeah crazy because I just got a fresh trim on that and imagine I just picked a spot and um, now skin's all red them to here but yeah here back in oh god the worst thing living on a main road please follow the road for one mile but yeah hopefully you guys can see me uh, nice and clear because my car's obviously black inside as well sometimes it doesn't get the best lighting but yeah I can see myself with a little, little camera up but yeah anyway if you haven't already subscribe to my YouTube channel hit that bell icon for future notifications I've got loads of videos already filmed I just need to edit but I've just been so busy I've not even managed to edit them but and obviously I've got mods to do on my own car as well which I'm obviously going to go pick one up I'll show you what I'm going to get when we actually get there I'm going to a little surprise you but yeah so what's been happening with my S3 not the best things so let me tell you what happened about three weeks ago I was driving on the motorway uh, someone had been a car had caught fire um, I was on the way to Manchester and basically what happened is I hate when people are on my ass when I'm driving. Like, there's speed bumps for a reason. What do you mean to do? Go fucking 100 miles per hour and over them. Anyway, I'm driving to Manchester now. Uh, I'm on this, I've pulled up on the hard shoulder because I had to kind of like just uh, regain what I wanted to do. Not sorry, regain, just kind of like collect my thoughts and just figure out am I going to continue going to Manchester because I'm not sure I'm gonna, how long I'm going to be in this traffic or do I turn back now at Saddleworth? Because obviously that way I can get home in time and um, I'm not going to waste my evening essentially. Anyway, I thought, oh, I'm going to go home. So I'm on the hard shoulder. Everyone's basically gone back on the hard shoulder and they reversed down it. I know you shouldn't do that, but it, it, it was a re like I said, it was a really weird scenario. And I know I shouldn't have copied literally everyone on the motorway, but they blocked it off anyway, so you have to go down that way. Really complicated scenario. Anyway, I'm reversing. No lights at all, yeah? I've got rear parking sensors, which are great, but I don't have a rear facing camera, which is a bit shitty and something now. I'm going to retrofit in the future. Not because of that, but because I've always wanted to anyway. But yeah so basically um uh yeah so obviously i've reversed down this road yeah no Please lights turn left after uh, 100 yards onto lindale avenue yeah so there's no lights or anything no like turn that left. god you're gonna have to excuse this sat now because i'm using the audi sat now because i had to put the little i can't use waves right now because i had to put the little camera thing down but um yeah so this is turning out to a long Please story, I'm trying to concentrate this and speak. Mile. But anyway, so I'm dra I'm reversing down this road, yeah, and my parking sensors, I suppose, where they're, I don't know how park, I don't know how rear parking sensors or parking sensors in general work, like what kind of, what do they pick up, anything that, how much do they pick up, if it's higher than the parking sensor, does it pick it up, or if it's lower, does it have to be in direct alignment with the parking sensor, I don't know. Anyway, what happened is, as I'm reversing, I literally did not see anything. I, li I, I could not see anything in my, in my wing mirrors or anything like that. So I'm thinking I should be fine. As I'm reversing, I'm bearing in mind, I'm only doing five miles per hour, luckily. On the side of my car, so the rear fender and the, yeah, so the rear left side of my car, the rear fender and the rear bumper, they get hit and I'm gutted. Imagine I've heard a bang. Please turn left and I'm after absolutely gutted. It could have been worse, Spain's it could have been gone into the metal. Obviously a lot of the stuff it went into was a plastic, but nonetheless I was gutted. I thought, what the fuck? I thought, imagine all the things that could have happened to this car, like accidents wise, no I did that like left. reversing five miles per hour. Anyway, it happened, I was gutted, really, really, really upset. Like, sorry, more than upset. And um, 
I drove home so fast because I was in such panic. And I suppose my worry was, I wasn't worried because I thought, you know what? I've anticipated things like this. I bought this car because I knew I know I've got the money to maintain it. If anything like this happens, and God willing, it never does. Never does again. Um, but yeah, I hit it. So when I got when I got out of the car, I couldn't see any damage. But then, because it was on the side, I was like, oh, because I thought it hit at the back. I was like, oh. Turn left I got home. Two hundred and fifty yards. The rear bumper was off on the left side, just a little bit, just like it had been clipped out. There was a scratch. There was a scratch mark. I'll include all the pictures and stuff. It was scratched up and whatnot. And then. Um, it was scratched up and fucking there was a hole in there but I thought oh that can all be fixed if anything I'll get either a new rear bumper or if it can be fixed like filled or like you know buffed out fine and obviously the paint I'll, I'll have to get it matched in terms of paint and stuff which I'm not bothered about it'll probably cost me £500 or something like that to get a top quality job done which I'm happy with I then um yeah, I got home, my brother said, oh yeah, he agreed, he's like, you know, hopefully it's not too bad, we'll have to take it to a, a body shop though to actually see what the damage is, and I was like, yeah, agreed. So, we took it to a body shop next morning, literally, I was on job, took it to a body shop next morning, they quoted me like, you know, it's probably better you get a new, bu new bumper. Now, here's the issue, now, well, here's the benefit of having these kind of cars. The Audi S3, sorry, the Audi A3 range, so the Audi S A3 S line, the Audi S3, the Audi RS3, from the rear, the rear bumpers are all the same. The only difference is it's the diffuser. Now, I know it doesn't seem like that. I guarantee you it is. Well, I know it factually is. All the rear bumpers are the same. It's only the front way gets Please different where the panels are flared on the RS3. But the S3 and the A3 S line are very similar. Uh, so the parts are very, they can be interchangeable. The only difference is the diffuser. I checked all this in terms of the part numbers and it turns out I was right. And um, I got an Audi, I got a really good condition Audi A3 uh, S-Line rear bumper. I kept my diffuser because my diffuser, luckily, there was not too much damage on it. And um, yeah, so that's exactly what I did. I, um, and I And so basically, I gave it to them, they sprayed it. The paintwork, immaculate, can't complain. It's absolutely amazing. It's abs the job that was done and it was perfect. The price I paid all in all, was around 800 quid now i know that is dear trust me i mate i had to pay it i'm hurt yeah i fucking it hurt me very badly but anyway the whole point of this video is do you know what it happens and i noticed that some guy on the uh, forum he hit his car and i was like and, and it was like reversing into a lamp like something that like you can see what i reversed into by the way guys was like a little wood piece that was so low that i couldn't even see it and it hit the side of my car and obviously uh, the rear bumper on the uh, left hand side so the rear fender on the left hand side of the rear bumper on the left hand side really upset really hurt but you know what these things happen you can't let it discourage you in any way um life's too short just deal with the situation uh, accordingly so can everybody see my fast and furious t-shirt anyway uh long story short with the other thing in regards to the car obviously the car is fully fixed to an oem standard no one would be able to tell the difference. Nobody has told. Some people I didn't even tell them this or the car, and then I told them after, like, no way, really. Obviously, the only the reason I wanted to make this video is to give you a bit of an update. Obviously, taking on this journey, it's picked my VW Racing Line Springs up, which I can't wait to speak to you about in a second. But mainly just to tell you, like, listen, these things happen. Like, nobody, it doesn't mean that you're a crap driver or anything like that. People make mistakes, you know? That is the, that is it, you know? We make mistakes, live, you know, you just kind of get over it and live on. Um, and just be a bit more careful and learn from your mistakes again so like now I won't be reversing down any road until I, I, I fucking get out a thousand times before I even do and check if there's nothing behind me so I just got to Has Motorsport now as you can see it's a super super clean nice unit and literally as you can see there they are an authorised uh, retailer or reseller of race chip, race line, Piper Frost Ford, Scorpion, Powerflex, Ibach Super Pro, GFB, Miltec and Army Tricks and I know they do like other things like Scorpion and stuff like that so listen if you need anything from them go check them out uh, they're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, eBay uh, yeah definitely go check them out has some really good prices and especially for racing line stuff because I know he's a really really good authorised reseller of, um, or authorised fucking I'm saying authorised so much now he is an official authorised reseller of racing line parts and he's actually got a proper sick Audi S3 I don't know if you still got it but that had like racing line everything on it so yeah yeah uh, and that should indicate what I've got, which is so far. We just got to Hazes and uh, just picked up my racing line, BW Racing Line lowering springs. Uh, Haz was the one who recommended them to me, and he's an authorized reseller. Like literally, if you want racing line parts, uh, you won't get them cheaper anywhere else than Hazes. Um, so that's why 
there are certain things I'll get from other people but when it comes to certain products like racing line has is, has is a guy so if you're in West Yorkshire and you need some racing line parts brakes springs whatever it is um, catch now tank turn left and then turn left let me lower that for you it's pissing me off uh, go to him you know tell him I recommended you <laughs> maybe he'll give me some discount in the future doubt it but you know worth a try but yeah no definitely reach out to Haz so yes what are the plans with my S3 for the future so this weekend uh, and obviously this will be in the next video now I will make a video on a DIY install of the racing B2B racing line uh, lowering springs show you how to do it so you guys can do it yourself save a bit of money and get and getting someone else to do it um, when's it saying I'm going to get home Anyway, um, do I need to be taking a left? I think I do. Anyway, yeah, so I've got the VW Racing Line Springs just because. So I had a few options. I, was gonna, I had IBAC or HR. Has obviously recommended Racing Line because Racing Line are a UK uh, manufacturer of, of that product and obviously they, they take into consideration obviously the shit UK roads, whereas the other companies are based predominantly in the US. Um, so that's why I went for Racing Line. Uh, and hopefully they're good. I'll obviously do an update in the next video when I install them. I'll go for a drive after. Uh, I, I, I do think it'll be stiffer. Uh, but before I even, I suppose in terms of the future of this car, before I even think about upgrading the power, I want to make sure that the handling is absolutely spot on. Uh, and then obviously before I even get to the power as well, I'm going to make sure that the brakes are upgraded to like the Forge or Racing Line the upgraded brake kit. Um, I know they're good as each other, but. Um, yeah, that's the kind of plan I suppose with this car. Getting new wheels uh, next month, well, in December for my birthday, so 19 inch wheels. I'll, 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 feel like I'll be a little surprised as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's it really. So I've got the plans for this car new wheels, brakes, power eventually, uh, but in terms of handling and aesthetics uh, will be no spaces because the wheels, the wheels that I'm getting actually sit out further out anyway, so I, it doesn't require, I, don't, I won't require um, spaces to have that stance look. Uh, I'm gonna get a dog bone mount next month, power from Powerflex, um, and then I'm also gonna get front and rear anti-roll anti -roll bars, anti-roll, is that right? Yeah, anti-roll bars. I'm not sure what brand I'm gonna go for yet. I've heard really good things about that high back kit. Uh, in, and obviously uh, H and R, so I'm not too sure which brand I'm going to go for yet. Um, but yeah, they're the plans for the S3, as far as I can remember. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Something's not right. I think I need to pull over because this is taking me God knows where. Anyway, guys, I think I have to lock up the video because I'm lost actually. I don't know where I'm going because this is actually saying to me I'm going to get home in. I've got 11 miles journey but it's going to take me, uh, it's going to take me basically all day to um, to basically get there so I'm going to have to lock off this video otherwise I'm not going to get home apparently until 11, 20 to 12, yeah 20 to 12 at midnight so God knows what's going on with the Audi sat now. I never use the Audi sat now, I hate sat now, I hate it so much. But yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, you know, click that bell icon for future notifications. Um, and I hate, hate being in new places just because I'm just like, fuck, where the fuck do I go? But yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, click that bell icon for future notifications so you're always notified when I upload a new video, which I've got loads coming. Uh, follow me on Instagram at S3 Ranch, personal page Ranch to discuss a bit. If it's just a car, so if you're interested in it, it's S3 Ranch. Until next time, take it easy and yeah, look after yourselves.